hello everyone welcome back to my channel i'm here to do more missing women and jewelry and men cases we are here to break the codes if we see any we are here to see where their bodies are located if they know and we also here to see if they are alive deceased body suited change your identity or misidentity you already should know who's involved the white supremacists the african americans and the kkk so let's begin this is about a young this is on the doe network it's about um jane and john does um, this case is 3629 DMNY capitalized Oscar James Ned. Okay, this is how he looks. Okay, um, he go by Oscar James Ned. Case classification is he's in danger of missing. he been missing since January the 7th, 1975. The location last seen was White Plains, Rochester County, New York. Date of birth, April the 18th, 1951. He was 24 years old. His race is black slash African American. His gender is male. Yes, when he went missing. His height is 5'2". His weight is 140 pounds. His hair color is black. His eye color is brown. His nickname or eyelids he go by is unknown. The steering marks of feature is unknown. His dentals are available. Freddy Stitch tooth. Number Freddy Stitch tooth is missing though. The fingerprints is not available. The DNA is not available. So we do not know who his family is right now. The clothing and personal items is unknown. Okay. The circumstances of disappearance. One of seven children born in his family home in Marshallville, Georgia, Ned was described by relatives as a star high school athlete and an excellent student with big dreams. After graduating from high school in 1970, he left his small town for Wright Plains, New York, in search of a college education and a better life. By 24, he was working two jobs one at a cleaning service and another at a laundry. He had, he had accumulated about $1,500 in savings. He was also planning his wedding to a young woman in White Plains, New York, who was deeply religious as he was. I think he said she the one who did it, okay, or had him set up. And he's saying yes. In December of 1974, Ned received a call from a nephew who was in town and needed a place to stay. Ned was recumbent but took in his nephew. He had no idea that the nephew had escaped from a jail in Georgia days earlier. I'm hearing with Nita and James, okay? His sister last spoke to him on January the 1st, 1975, and they had a tense phone conversation about Ned's new roommate. She informed him that the nephew had shot someone in Georgia and said, you need to get him out of your apartment right now. Oscar was stunned and upset. His sister Ned never heard from him again. When a week went by with no word from him, relatives reported him missing. Police found no sign of either man, just blood splattered across the room and a witness who claimed in a sworn statement that he had seen the nephew struggling to carry a large rug that appeared to contain a body down a staircase. He's saying yes. Then put the rug in a car trunk and drive off. A month passed with no other progress. On February the 14th, 1975, Valentine, the Wright Plains Police Department received a call from the authorities in Las Cruces, New Mexico saying they had arrested the nephew in a string of armed robberies there and in Arizona. When he was arrested, documents shows the nephew identified himself as Oscar Ned and was driving Mr. Ned's 1972 Dodge. He later claimed that he and Ned drove to California for a vacation in January of 1975 and that he left Ned there. He said he never saw him again and has no idea what happened to him, nor did he know why there were blood stains in Mr. Ned's room or why a neighbor claimed to have seen him removing a body. 
Oscar's body has never been found. He was declared legally dead in 2005. Investigation agencies, the agency name is White Plains Police Department. The agency contact person is Detective Jennifer DaCosta. Agency phone number is 914-422-6111. Agency email is not accurate. The agency case number is 75-37. The name of case number is 10397. The NCIC case number is M-M-2105-687. Information sources is name us, the New York Times, okay? It was last updated March the 10th, 2023. It was put on this page on January the 18th, 2008. So if you would like to help with this case, y'all can. I don't do it for the fame or the money. I do because it's what I love to do. Real family to the victims. Check the comment section, okay? We get you set up, okay? Thank you.